How do you spend your time when you are on the go? So in the past, I would usually listen to some nice music, something relaxing, something uh, maybe upbeat, depends on the mood. But I realized that if I want to make the most out of my time, I have to make the time count. So these days, uh, I found a number of very educational, very insightful podcasts that um, most of the time when I'm on the go, I would be listening to Canadian uh, finance podcast. What else do we have here? Houston, we have a podcast. Back to NASA, Radical Candor, uh, When the Feedback Fails. Um, podcast uh, on Economic Overview in Canada by CIBC, depending on the American election. Nice, um, interesting angle. I needed to fall asleep so quickly. I had a podcast for that. So sometimes it's a little bit of a surprise what the... Uh, podcasters put out. Uh, if you subscribe, try different podcasts, eventually you will find your favorites list and sometimes your preferences change. I had some science podcasts that I was listening to and then after some time they kind of became repetitive. I found the new things. More, Most important is that you keep learning because the half an hour or an hour in traffic uh, every day each way is a lot of time and it's amazing after some time how much you can learn another thing i'm typically using this for example is um, a pdf uh, from the book building a second brain that i just uh, finished uh, listening to and this great app is basically saving me hours and hours of my time sitting and reading because typically if i'm sitting down with my computer or otherwise i want to be either physically doing something with my hands or doing some work on the computer and i cannot just be reading at the same time but i can be listening to a book and most of the books can be listened to um, while you're driving and it's a perfect way to again save several hours and learn something from a given book there is a certain number of books that i would still sit down and read like for example I recently was working on the book uh, on uh, rocket propulsion and you have a lot of graphics, you have a lot of formula and uh, the AI reading just doesn't cut it. So it's something that you need to see visually. But I would say 90% of the books, especially business books, um, unless they have some diagrams, which sometimes you can even look up later after listening the description and the concept. But uh, 80 to 90% of the time you can listen to a book and hardly miss anything and uh, trying to go through a book a week so at the end of the year I have an extra 50 books under my belt I also try to summarize those books um, either by myself or find a good summary at the somewhere on the internet that I can save that and if I want to go back to some concepts from the book I can easily do it in a 10 page summary rather than going through 300 pages of the book between uh, podcasts uh, an app that can read books with you and sometimes uh, occasional uh, YouTube video that can be a YouTube audio uh, while you're driving uh, the driving time is a wealth of uh, potential uh, for education and for being efficient. And in addition, obviously, if I have some phone calls to make, I would often do it while driving, especially if they are low involvement calls where I can I, I need to coordinate, I can uh, talk to some people, uh, discuss things, but does not necessarily need me sitting in front of the spreadsheet and discussing numbers. Those kind of phone calls go on my drives as well. So no time is lost. It's uh, up to you to make the best out of yours. Mm -hmm.